As part of South Africa's just transition from fossil fuels to sustainable renewable energy use and debunking the myths about the sustainability of nuclear energy, South Sea invited a group of 19 faith leaders from around South Africa to participate in a series of four advocacy and skills building workshops as part of the Nuclear Free SA campaign. Attendees were equipped with the tools and knowledge needed to successfully advocate against South Africa expanding its toxic nuclear power generation and instead promote the use of renewable energy. The diverse group of participants included faith leaders from the Western Cape, home of the Kubik nuclear power plant, the Northern Cape, where the foul post nuclear waste disposal site is situated, the Karoo, where there is a renewed focus on uranium mining and fracking, and finally, the Eastern Cape, where a new nuclear plant is being proposed and offshore oil and gas exploration is being contested. The program focused on empowering local faith leaders with information and advocacy skills and amplifying their voices on an ongoing effort to resolve environmental justice issues, in particular, the hashtag Nuclear Free SA campaign. The first session held in May 2022 explored the history of the nuclear energy campaign in South Africa, why nuclear is a problem, and the art of speaking truth to power. Faith standpoints on the environment were explored, as well as digging down into different types of extractivism and mining. The legislation governing nuclear energy was unpacked, including the National Environmental Management Act, the Integrated Resource Plan, IRP 2019, and the National Energy Act 2008. Faith leaders gained a deeper understanding of how to use an advocacy framework and how to incorporate their knowledge of legislature, the media, and environmental justice into their work in their faith community. The second session took place in July 2022 and allowed participants to share the community-level efforts that they have engaged in since they last met. Actions included hitting the streets and raising awareness at grassroots level, engaging with local ward councillors, and speaking on a number of local platforms, including their congregation. The group then began to further unpack the history and issues surrounding the Quebec nuclear power plant and its proposed life extension in 2024, while also examining the real contribution of nuclear energy to the national grid and how waste and the cost of extension will impact each of them in their own communities. Attendees departed with actionable steps they could take to start making a future of nuclear-free South Africa a reality. In November 2022, participants convened for the third workshop in the series with a central focus on effectively leveraging their existing resources in the battle against nuclear energy. The group had an opportunity to attend and witness an energy portfolio committee meeting in Parliament afterwards, engaging with ESCOM leadership and parliamentarians to express their conviction that nuclear power does not belong in South Africa's energy future. The faith leaders were convened in Cape Town for a concluding workshop in March 2023, encompassing a visit to Quebec Nuclear Power Station, along with meetings with the Chief Nuclear Officer and a representative from the National Nuclear Regulator. During the event, participants actively shared their valuable insights and submitted an official document containing their comments on the proposal to extend Quebec's lifespan by an additional 20 years through a long-term operation license. An award ceremony was held to applaud the legacy participants' achievements and success within the program and celebrate the activism work they had already begun in their respective communities. People of faith, especially those in leadership roles, have a critical role to play in holding our governing structures accountable, debunking the myths and misinformation about energy decision-making, and in encouraging their communities to do the same as part of our democratic rights. The workshop series cultivated a network of empowered and skilled earthkeepers dedicated to engaging civil society in pursuit of enhanced environmental governance and advocacy. Through their collective efforts, these individuals aim to effect positive change and bring about improvements in the environmental stewardship. For more information about SAUCE's Nuclear Free SA and Skills Building Environmental Advocacy Program, visit us at www.saucy.org. Thank <laughs> you.